Hello everybody, it's Amanda here, your cutie of carnage, here for another episode of Channel Sun Down. I notice a lot on Facebook and on Instagram, a lot of people are posting, asking questions like, hey, what movie should I watch? I decided to go ahead and list my top 10 favorite horror films that I think you should watch in your home <laughs> to entertain yourselves if you don't want to go anywhere you should watch these 10 films is a top 10 horror films you should watch in your quarantine state i'm go ahead and start with my number 10 my number 10 is actually a film that um surprisingly not many people have seen and i thought more people have seen it but every time i've mentioned this film to people they're like no i never heard of that and this film right now is streaming on Tubi and Vudu for free, guys, for free. And that is going to be Voices, starring Ryan Reynolds and Anna Kendrick. Basically what it's about, it's about Ryan Reynolds who plays Jerry. He's a factory worker. He uh, has um, kind of uh, mind issues. This guy um, has a dog and a cat. His dog and his cat talk to him. Yeah, they talk to him. I have Bosco and Mr. Whiskers. Just tell you Mr. Whiskers, this is the cat, of course, and Bosco is the dog. And, um, well, <laughs> they, uh, talk to him a lot. And Mr. Whiskers is kind of a evil little mofo. I'm just gonna say that. I'm not gonna go into detail, but evil little mofo and Bosco is kind of the saving grace of it all. Uh, Mr. Whiskers talks Jerry into some things. And Jerry ends up doing some, uh, <laughs> some, some killing. Some killing. He does some killings. And but basically, he, <laughs> Jerry listens to the voices and does things. And he likes. Lisa and it is like a gung-ho of just many different things and it's whole it's funny of all things It's really funny. It has a lot of dark humor and Bosco is hilarious. Mr. Whiskers is, is an asshole But still like he says some funny things sometimes, but yeah, like I said it is streaming right now So y'all check out voices Next on the countdown is going to be our number nine 2008 Eden Lake. And so this film is something else. Oh my goodness. Hell. And it's starring Kelly Riley and Jack O'Connell, who plays the punk kid in the film, and Michael Fassbender. Yes, Michael Fassbender is in this film. This film takes place in England, and it's about the couple... Jenny, Kelly Riley, and Steve, Michael Fassbender, they go on this little romantic trip and they go to the lakeside. They're out on the lake and they're doing the thing and they see a bunch of punk ass kids doing some things and it changes so fast. You know, you think you're in this one scenario and all of a sudden, these kids are awful, are awful. These punk ass kids are so bad. Like, you start off, you're on the lake, and they're, like, doing all this, you know, nanny. And all of a sudden, they are tying Michael Fassbender to a tree. But it's crazy. It's crazy. And without, of course, spoiling the ending, the ending just, ooh, ooh the ending. But even, like, y'all, watch it. Here comes my number eight. And that's going to be 2017's. The Neon Demon. Nicholas Wine and Refn, who directed Drive and Only God Forgives. But this film is something totally uh, crazy. This film stars Elle Fanning, who, yes, Elle Fanning, you guys know, is Dakota Fanning's little sister, and Gina Malone, and Keanu Reeves. 
The film is about this young girl named Jessie, who's Elle Fanning's character, and she moves out to Los Angeles to become a model. She goes to LA and she gets modeling jobs and and all these models are basically kind of like feeling jealous for this girl. And a lot of things happen. And this film kind of grasps that and it takes it to a whole different level. You don't really see the horror in it until it gets kind of to that point she's making it and she's making it and she gets to this point of the film where you're just kind of like oh what what the shit what just what just happened and then the ending happens and you're like what the hell did i just watch what the hell is going on anyways guys if you get a chance watch the neon demon here comes my number seven and that's gonna be 2014's midnight meat train the midnight meat train this film is actually streaming right now on Tubi. This film stars Bradley Cooper. And basically it's about this photographer named Leon. He takes a photo of a girl and she ends up turning out missing. He finds out more while he's going through the whole thing. Like I said, this is very, uh, very uh, vague <laughs> for instance of the film. But there's this guy who is going and uh, doing things on the subway to people. And of course the guy that is on the subway doing the naughty is Vinnie Jones. You guys remember Vinnie Jones from Snatch. Leslie Bibb is in it and she plays Bradley Cooper's girlfriend and this story gets on different levels soon. And it also has Brooke Shields. Brooke Shields is in the film. To say this film flips, this film flips entirely this story starts off one way and you're thinking you're watching this you're thinking you're watching this, this I don't want to spoil it but you're watching this slasher film and then this film goes this way and then the ending just boom you're just like what the hell did I just watch if you guys get a chance on Tubi to watch the midnight meat train y'all have to it's based on Clyde Barker's short story and it is fan freaking tastic my number six Bliss. Dizzy is an aspiring artist who lives in LA and she does a lot of drugs. She kind of gets involved in some drug thing and she realizes uh, she starts having a craving and people die. Film, you go into it and it's very kind of hit or miss because a few people haven't seen it because. I had one friend who started watching it and was just, I have one friend who loves the film. I have one friend who started watching the film and was just like, I didn't know what the hell was going on. I stopped watching it because I was too confused. Because it's very visual. It's very visual. You don't really know what's happening. You don't know what's going on. And it's good that you don't because I think it was very play by play. It wouldn't be as, you wouldn't be into it as much. As I was into it because I didn't know what the hell was going on. So if y'all get a chance, y'all check out Bliss. This is right now streaming on Shudder. Alright guys, here's my number five. And that's going to be 2011's Attack the Block. Directed by Joe Cornish. And this film is an English film. It's based in England. You start off and there's this group of really uh dangerous teenagers who rob and they still and they're no they're no good kids and they're out robbing somebody they're robbing a nurse and all of a sudden something comes from the sky and hits came from the sky so the only one thing it's fucking alien it's an alien guys it's an alien but all these teenagers and these kids and this drug dealer and all his high people are basically fighting these alien creatures from another planet. And it is so, so funny. It has such dry humor. It stars Jodie Whittaker, which everybody knows. I don't because I don't watch it. But everybody knows she's the female Doctor Who. It has on an actor who's now big and famous because of Star Wars. John Boyega <laughs> starred off in this film. And he is the head of the dangerous teenagers. And a lot of people don't know this, but John Boyega 
is from England. It's English. So it's so funny because a few of my friends, uh, when I did the holiday countdown, I mentioned this film. They're like, he's in that? He's English? I'm like, yeah, he's English. And don't forget the drug dealer himself, Mr. Nick Frost. He is from Shaun of the Dead. The best friend of Shaun, Shaun of the Dead, Nick Frost. He's in this film too. And this film is so funny and so dry. And honestly, I'm going to say that the creatures... They're really great. They're really great. But the main, I guess, captivating factor of the film is the dry humor. And just, it's not like, there's no laugh track in it. It's not like he says something and it's ha-ha. It's all dry. And it, you don't really notice it until like a few minutes later in the film. You're like, what the hell did he just say? And it's so funny. So that is one of my highest recommendations. All right, guys. Here's my number four, The Transfiguration. Yes, Michael O'Shea's Transfiguration. This film is basically about this young man. He lives in kind of like the dangerous area with the gang violence. He's really into vampire films and is really grasped into the vampire mythology. And he meets this girl and he likes her and a lot of things kind of transpire from that. This boy gets, let's put it this way, this boy gets too into the vampire mythology. This film is really interesting. And it starts one way and it really kind of dives into family situation and his ideas and what he feels. Check out Transfiguration. It's streaming right now on Shudder. Now, my number three. 2019's Tigers Are Not Afraid. This was on my list of best of of 2019 countdown. This film is streaming on Shudder. Tigers Are Not Afraid is a whole level of emotions. But basically it's about this girl, you know, she's in, it starts off she's in a classroom and she lives in Mexico during the drug war. So the girl goes home and her mother's missing. Her mother's gone. And this, that's the most I'm going to get into without spoiling. Her mother's missing. So she runs the street. She meets a bunch of homeless children. And this film is so, so deep. Like, I love this film. I actually, I hate to admit this, but I cried. I cried. This film is so scary. It's, it's a children. It's children in it. Don't let it miss construe you away because this film is fantastic and it's one of the best I've seen of 2019 and if you guys get a chance watch it I'm telling you watch it I love this movie this movie is fantastically brilliant and I love it so much so anyways Tigers Are Not Afraid is my pick all right guys we're coming to the end and we're gonna get to my number two guys and that's going to be 2019's Freaks I paid like $15 to see this film, right? When it first came out to be on my uh, to be on my 2019 countdown last year when it first came out. And it is actually right now streaming on Netflix. Freaks is streaming on Netflix. You guys need to watch this movie. This movie is brilliant. I love this movie. Oh my god, this movie is fantastic. This movie stars Amelia Hirsch, you guys know he's like one of my favorite actors, Bruce Dern, and Amanda Crew. Basically what this film is about is there's this little girl and her father, they live in a house. He keeps his daughter kind of like home. He keeps her kind of, he keeps her like excluded from people. Keeps, in, keeps her away. And you're right, not really sure why. And the film... The film is best, I know I say this a lot guys, I'm sorry. The film is best going into it not knowing a damn thing. Not knowing a damn thing. When I saw it, I didn't know what the hell I was watching. And I was so pleasantly surprised and so into it. And I thought it was fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Watch Freaks. It's on Netflix. Watch it. All right, guys, here it is. My number one, my number one is the 2019 film that is beyond fantastic, and everyone needs to watch it right now. 
and it is on Voodoo on sale for I think it says like three dollars on sale on Voodoo. It's not streaming anywhere, but you guys need to watch this movie it's worth the three dollars and that is going to be 2019's daniel isn't real yes daniel isn't real this film is oh my god how oh my god boom mind blown this film was the best this film is so it's one of my it's one of my favorite movies it stars Patrick Schwarzenegger, of course, the son of Maria Shriver and, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Patrick Schwarzenegger. And it stars Mile Robbins, the son of Susan Sarandon and Tim Robbins. Yes, they both star in the film. And basically it's about this, this boy who has an imaginary friend, Daniel, who... Um, he was when he was a kid when he was doing things when he was playing and he was experiencing his childhood he had Daniel with him and his uh, family were kind of you know his mother has mental health issues and was put away and he kind of goes and puts him away in a house he puts he puts him, he locks him in his mind and when he's in college and stuff, he's going through things. And he's going through basically the drama of his taking care of his mother and stuff. And uh, his psychiatrist is like, oh, well, you should let Daniel out. And he does. And as you can guess, Daniel isn't real, but he's real in his fucking mind. So, excuse my language. But, yeah, Daniel gets very real. And the film goes Ape shit. The film is so grasping to mental illness. It takes you places that not a lot of people want to go. Um, if y'all get a chance, you need to watch it. You need to watch it. This film is brilliant. Brilliant and wonderful. And I love this movie. So yeah, that's my number one, guys. As well, <laughs> I know I haven't posted anything in a while. And I did this like kind of long ass countdown. But I hope you guys, if you have a chance to watch any of these films you all can i hope i answered any questions do not forget to like like right here like and subscribe like and subscribe i don't know why i have a list ball son of anyways guys until next time guys i will talk to you later